wanted to do a quick video explaining some of the homework questions in 17.1 when we're being asked to find points, if any, along a curve C at which a given F is either tangent to C or orthogonal to C. So what I do to start this is I first sketch my graph. So let's take this first example. The F given is 1 half comma 0 and my curve is a parabola sketched like this. So to first of all, to find if f is tangent to c at any point, well, if you remember, if we take our function g, and I'm going to let g equal c, I'm going to let it equal that y minus x squared, then I take the gradient of that, which is negative 2x comma 1. So that gradient, if you remember, is orthogonal to that to any point along that curve. So if a line is tangent to the curve, and that's what I'm first asked to find, find out whether or not f is tangent to c. Well, if f is tangent to c, that means it's going to be orthogonal to the gradient of g. So I find the gradient of g, I dot it with f, and if that's zero, then they are in fact orthogonal. So Let's go ahead and find out where del g dot f is equal to 0. So the gradient of g is negative 2x comma 1 dotted with the f that's up, that I'm given, 1 half 0. And that gives me negative x. And when I set that equal to 0, that means that x is equal to 0. When x is equal to 0, that f is in fact orthogonal to g, which means it's tangent to c. So if I were to graph that, that point would be right there. And f would be at that point tangent to the curve. If I want to find points where f is orthogonal to the curve c, or normal, can think of it either way, that means it's going to be parallel with that gradient. So how do I tell if something's parallel? It's just a scalar times that gradient. So in this case, if I try to see is there any constant that I can multiply by my um, gradient to get me f, and the answer is no. So there is no f tangent to c at any point on that curve. Let's do a different example. This example has f being x comma y, and c is a circle. I'm going to let g equal x squared plus y squared. And when I take del g and dot it with f to see if there's any point where that is in fact equal to 0, I find that I get 0 equals 2x squared plus 2y squared. And there's no point on that curve c that makes that equation true. So at no point is f tangent to c. However, I can see if that the um, it is parallel to that gradient. And again, if I have x y equaling some constant times 2x 2y, I find that no matter what x and y is, there's always going to be a constant that, that makes that true. So that means that f is tangent to cur the curve C at every single point along that curve. So I've just drawn a couple of examples. Let's do one final example. And I'm doing this quickly, but you'll have the paper to look at so you can go through this more slowly. Let's say f is equal to x comma y. C is equal to the line x equals 1. So I'm going to let g equal x. And the gradient of g dotted with f will be 0 equals x plus 0. And nowhere along that curve does x equal 0. So there is no point that f is tangent to c. However, if I let f equal some constant times the gradient of g, then I find that this is in fact true exactly when y is equal to 0. So only when y equals 0, and that would be the point x equals 1, y equals 0, that that f is in fact tangent to the curve c, and I've drawn that in green.